Well, welcome to another Shoe Rainer Drawing School special. And I, the next few things I'm going to be doing are all about Dark Claw because uh, I'm going to be doing a, a special Dark Claw thing on my website. Um, and if you go to my website, www.shoerainer.com, and click all the links for Dark Claw, you'll eventually come. This is one of the pages, but this is one of the books that I wrote a while back. And you can click the corners and you can drag them. And, uh, and you'll find you have got here the whole, uh, the whole book. In fact, you've got the whole six books. The whole story of Dark Claw is available for you. And I'm going to show you how to draw Dark Claw and all the heroes and all the spaceships and all sorts of things like that. Okay, so that's what I'm going to be concentrating on here on the drawing school for a while. And um, here we go. Well, um, I've got everything ready. I've got my pencil, and I've got my pen, and I've got my eraser. Um, and we're going to draw very, very softly to start off with. We're going to plan the drawing. Um, and what we kind of need is to start off with is a kind of an egg shape. Something like that. And Dark Claw is kind of the most evil cat in the universe. Sorry, I had to put a very deep voice on. He is the most evil cat in the whole universe. And he has a kind of a monk's-like hood. So if we have this kind of egg shape, a little bit at the top like that. And then you need to take that inside the egg shape like that. Now this will in fact carry on round, because that's kind of the front of his jacket, coat, whatever you call it. Um, and his shoulders kind of come out from his neck, so he's going to be something like that. Um, and his paw is going to be, that's his thumb, and then you want to go one, two, three, four. I think we'll have him waving a bit menacingly. So that will be his elbow bit. And This is a sleeve coming out here, so we want his thumb, and then we want a one, two, three, four for his paws, and we want to have his dark claw sticking out, kind of sting, and those are his paw pads, and that's his kind of palm paw pad part there. Right, let's concentrate on his face now. What we need is a very deep V shape like that which are going to be his eyebrows and then his eyes are kind of stuck on the end and if you follow this line down it becomes a kind of a hockey stick or a walking stick shape like that if you follow that and his eyeballs are there then he needs a nose and a very long kind of line cats have a line under their nose which kind of splits down to a W shape but his goes down into a little miserable mm, like that um, being a cat his ears will stick out at the top um, and he doesn't have stripes, he has thunderbolts. So he is a cat. He has kind of cat stripes, but his cat stripes are thunderbolts. Which kind of go zig, they're zigzags, like a Z. So you go up, down, up, 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 up, down, up. Same on this side, up, down, up, up, down, up. Now I've drawn Dark Claw quite a lot in my time, so... But I do remember when I first drew these thunderbolts, they were really hard to kind of get your hand to do. So it's practice. Practice, practice, practice whatever you're doing with drawing. The more you draw something, the better you get at it. So that's kind of him. Um, and actually I'm going to draw this with a fountain pen, I think. Because the other pen I showed you hasn't got a very thick line. So... If we draw all the way around like that, and all the way around like that, perhaps I should have done the paws first because they're kind of on the top of his coat like that. Um, just do a kind of a wiggle wiggle there and a wiggle wiggle there and those will be the folds in his armpits and his elbows and then that can come around like that. And then that's the rest of his coat. You can see him down here. Um, that'll be the 
top of his hood, and we can take that around there. And that's there. And we put his ears in. Like that. And then we want this really, really heavy eyebrow. We can make it a bit more of a triangular V shape kind of thing like that. And then his eyes, making him look very evil. And the eyeball is kind of a little round, fat letter C. Like that. And that makes it look shiny. That's his nose. Um, and then you want to put these lightning flashes in. And the, uh, the flashes are kind of the thing that make him really look different and make him look exciting and menacing. Because he's very menacing. You want to read the story to find out why. So don't forget to go to my website afterwards, www.shoerainer.com. Click through to Dark Claw and you'll be able to read the story and find out who Dark Claw is and why he looks so angry. Um, right, we'll do a wiggle wiggle like that. And that'll be the elbow. And a wiggle wiggle, that's his armpit. And up there. There's his thumb, there's his forefinger. One, two, three his paws, his pads, and there's his dark claw, and we'll just leave a little sliver of white in there to make it look shiny. Bing, 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 bing. And he has a little claw kind of badge as well, like that, so give him some wiggle kind of marks like that, and maybe some stars in the background. And then you have your dark claw. Now, I probably hmm, better rub out the pencil. I'm probably going to make a mess with this Bantam Pen ink if it hasn't dried properly. No, it has. Good. Don't worry about that. I like drawing in Bantam Pen. Ah, you see, it's smudged there. I should have let it dry a bit more. I like drawing in Bantam Pen, um, but it takes longer to dry. Sometimes I would use a. In fact, look, I've got my. I've got my. Hair dryer. <laughs> I've been using this hair dryer, same hair dryer, for about 20 years now. It probably ought to be replaced, but I'm sure it's unsafe. Um, but when I'm in a hurry and I'm working, I use a hair dryer to make sure the ink is dry. And there you have Dark Claw, and you can colour him in and paint him and do whatever you like with him. And um, this is this is going to be Creative Commons, so you don't have to worry about copyright and things like that. You can copy him as much as you like. Okay. Dark Claw, enjoy, and may the guiding paw be with you.